happy to be here tonight to, to try to pray for this church and see all I can while I'm here to help him. I wish to read some scripture where it uh, was enjoying very much. It just came up in this, as in the little trailer here in Brother Baxter's message tonight. I'm very happy that God anointed him to speak like that tonight, that God would move in our midst. And I'm very glad to see people tonight as Christians. I know that, know that one of the great events of this country here is a, is a ball game down here. Someone said, just let the ball game start, you'll be sitting in the tent alone. Well, that's different. God's people love God. All right, I want to read some the scripture right up quickly and go into the prayer line. It's found in John, the, the fourth chapter, and beginning with the 46th verse. So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made a lot of wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Venus. And when he had heard that Jesus was come out of Judea to Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then Jesus said unto him, Except you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The nobleman said unto him, Sir, come down, here my child die. Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. I want you to notice. He was, if it had been a prayer line, he had worn a prayer card. And he wanted Jesus to come down to his house and heal his son. But Jesus did not go to his house. But first he talked real straight to him. He said, except you see signs, you won't believe. He said, sir, come or my child will die. Jesus, now what? Stick it first. Jesus said unto him, go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken to him, and he went his way. That's the order of the scripture. Jesus said something, that his child was going to get well, and the man himself believed what Jesus said. All right. Now, 51st. And as he was now going down, his servant met him and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. Something happened. Then inquired he of them, the eyes will begin to amend. In other words, when he turns from his worst to his better. And they said unto him, yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at that same hour in which Jesus said unto him, Thy son liveth, and, and is a conjunction, and himself believed in his whole house. He knew it was the time when Jesus said, Thy son liveth, go thy way. Thy son liveth. And the man believed what Jesus said was the truth. Now what if he would have said, Well, I'll go on back down, but I'm disappointed. I wish you to come lay his hands on him. The son probably would not have lived. But the man believed what Jesus said was the truth. And that's why we're here tonight is because we believe what Jesus said is the truth. Now, what the people said is something else. But what Jesus said, we are ready to stand on what he said is the truth. All right. Remember that now. Now, just before we form the prayer line, I think it would be necessary just to give a testimony. I will do try each night to kind of get when the Spirit of the Lord is closer. I've been praying all day, trying to get ready for this meeting. This is going into the second week. This is, even in this, is the smallest audience we've ever had, as I can remember, this much time, of this much meeting. But I've never had any audience that had it with any little letter, and it's with as good a faith, any better faith, than what you have right here. That's right. And I just believe that God is going to heal every person. I, I believe that with all my heart. And I 
Now, uh, friend, I have desired one thing in my life, to see one more time. I've seen one time that every person in the building was healed at one time. I've seen that once. And there was twice, three times, as many cop cases and stretcher cases as is here, and they just piled the cops together and throw the crutches and so forth away, and people went out of that building walking, praising God. Now, I believe if it can happen one time, it can happen again. Now, at the day of Pentecost, they were all in one place, and with one accord, believing the promise of God was coming to them. Now, can we believe the promise of God that is coming to us tonight? For myself, I'm doing all, and God knows in my hand here, I'm doing all that I know how. Everything I pray to you today. And, I, and I, at my time, I come in here and try my best to do everything that I know how. To not to get us over into a place where people just think too much on uh, the draw line, or where they think too much on one thing, but just try to keep it the best that I know how, that the Spirit of God could get in the hearts of the people to heal everybody. See, that's what I try to do, and God knows that. Today, Brother Lindsay, Brother and I were talking. Brother Lindsay is a good man. He is. Brother Hall also. And I, we get out these cards here, and we intend to pray for every person who gets a prayer card. That's right. What I can't get at night, we get at morning, at the 10 30 service. That's Brother Lindsay, Brother Hall has a prayer line here. Great things are being done. Now, you people, if you see the time getting near and you haven't got it, go down on a Monday, uh, each morning at 10.30. And I've dealt with those men. I've been with them in their lives. And I know that they're good, God-saved men. And it's signs and wonders. Well, well this, this will stay away faith, and in the morning, God will confirm it then. Come into the morning meetings if you don't get into the evening meetings. If you want to be prayed for Come in, and God will answer their prayer, and great things will be done. We were talking this afternoon, and Brother Lindsay looked over to me. We've been together for four years. I never heard that tone of voice. The Spirit of God must have said it, or I caught it in that way. He said, Brother Brandon, he said, for the measure of time, but I said for a long time, 63 would probably be the, something great. But I believe we got about one more year to go. Now remember, friends, we're going to look at the thing right straight in the face. God never sends judgment until first he sends his mercy. But after his mercy is bound to be judgment. The reject of mercy is the bringing in of judgment. Always. And now, through the ages, since the apostolic age in the beginning, there's never been such signs and wonders that God's put before the people. Surely thousands sway off heady, high-minded lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. But Jesus said they would be that way. Like they were in the days of Noah, so will it be in the coming of the Son of Man. I remember, I am an American. Generation after generation, back to the third or fourth generation, has been American. Many Branham has planted, and the other day when I was walking through France, Many of them were laying there, selling war. Had four brothers this last war. One of them helped me in the prayer line for four years in the Navy and give up as a hopeless case. 100% disabled, never to get up out of a chair. No one burnt through with a piece of shrapnel. The other one hit something, he had put a pressure on his spine that they said he'd have to tap his spine ever so many weeks doing his whole life. Went into a gully with a with patent in his tank. I wanted to go. If it was again, I'd try to go again. If this country ain't worth fighting for, it ain't worth living in. That's right. I'm an American. But just as sure as I'm the minister standing in this platform, we are heading for judgment. Now, God loved Israel. But when Israel sinned, she reaped what she sowed. And we're in for judgment. Mark that down. And remember, I have said it in the platform. When it comes to pass, you remember what I've said. All right. My Christian friends and sinner friends, 
Whatever you do, if you believe me to be sent from God, you seek the kingdom of God just quickly as you can and get into it. For that's the only safety we have today. The world that's the end of the age. Only in Christ are you safe. I'm not saying that to scare you. I'm saying it just as sanely as I know how to send you in this platform and say But my heart's been stirred for a time. And I know that we're ready for something. Now come in and you Christians, don't stand in that lukewarm condition anymore. Lay aside everything. Just get as close to God as you can. Walk with Him, talk with Him. Let everything else be secondary but your prayer life. Stay right with Him all the time. Now, I don't know why I stopped in my speech to say that, but I could prove that I'd be willing to say that the Spirit of God that is speaking right now around me. That's right. Remember, I'm saying that under the anointing of the Spirit of God. Oh. We're going to pray for this. You ever. Heavenly Father, bring me tonight. I see the world given away in love and know that God's judgment follows right from the tomorrow. There's things that come up to the ears of God. And He sent an angel down, two of us, that call out the righteous, suffering them. The Holy Spirit calling to the people to separate themselves from the things of the world, to receive the mark of God, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, before the mark of apostasy is put upon them. Thank the Lord. Help us tonight as we're here in this tent, not knowing what time that we shall leave, and let our testimonies ring everywhere. Calling the hedges and highways and byways. Calling the unrighteous to repentance, healing the sick and the afflicted. Grant those signs to be here tonight. In the name of thy Son, Jesus. Amen. Speaking. I haven't the time to go to work with you. While you're setting yourself and getting ready for that. All right. I remember when this first came to me. You give me just your undivided attention for a moment. It was strange how I was hated to start forward. And I, I think if you learn a little more of this, it'll be easier for you to come in and get, a, get into it. And I thought, how will I do this? But friends, God has always went out before and made the way. I remember I was still in uniform. I was an Indiana State game warden. And I came down... My baby, little girl, she's four years old now. I promised God he'd visit me about two or three weeks before this. I said, if you just wait till the baby was born, Lord, I'll go. He gave me that privilege of grace. And I, I was baby would have just come home, and I went down to get some uh, bottle caps in order to drink, or tea. I didn't start to get it, little fellows. And so I went to get those bottle caps, and I just... Went in and cashed my check. I was making thirty dollars a week, and I I went in to cash my check. And as the one in, some one had stepped off the bus from Louisville down the corner of the street, Jeffersonville, very small street. And I see him look at me strange, and I went into Mason's drugstore there to to cash my check. When I come back out, I had the bottle caps and I had them in my pocket. And somebody laid their hand on my shoulder and said, "Sir," I turned around. And it was a the same fellow looks at me so strangely. He said, I see that you're an officer. I said, I work for the conservation of Indiana. He said, I'm looking for some, a party. Maybe you could help me. Are you well acquainted? I said, yes, sir. I'm pretty well acquainted here. And he said, I said, I've lived here practically all my life. And he said, well, I'll give you my story. He said, I've been failing in health for about two years, but I'm from Paducah, Kentucky, about 200 miles down the river. He said, last night I had a strange dream. He said, I dreamed I'd seen a big bright angel come down from heaven and told me to come to Jeffersonville, Indiana, and to ask for somebody by the name of Brandon to pray for me. He said, now, do you know anyone here by the name of Brandon? I said, 
tell you, I thought my heart would break. I said, my mother runs a boarding house right around the corner. Her name is Fran. He said, oh, she's Fran. I said, would that be your name? I put my arm on him. I said, brother, three weeks ago I was standing in my room. A great light was shining in there and an angel told me to go pray for this. He just broke down. There we knelt on the street and I took off my hat. Knelt down on the street on the corner. I said, Father, I don't understand. But you sent this man here to declare what the angel of the Lord told me. When I got through praying, I looked and people had their hats off standing along on the street holding their children back and saying, no one on the street just standing. I was kneeling on the street public square. God healed him right there. Glory to him. A few days after that, a few weeks later, another case just comes on my mind. You remember me telling you the other night about that angel coming into the room where I was at at, at uh, Camden, Arkansas. The next day after that, I went into a little church there, a little uh, church to have a morning service. No prayer for the sick, just to preach. I was pretty well worn. I've been days and days. I hadn't even laid down more than just across the bed or sat in a chair. They had different places. They just take me from house to house and place to place all the time. And they went down to a little church I was going to speak. And when I started out, they had four police there that was taking me out, stand the door. And as I started out, the people, oh, brother, he would break the heart of an iron man. I'm human. And I stand here and look at little children like here. Laying along like this. I got children like that. I see sick people and I think, oh, God, what can I do? But I, I can't, I have, can't do no more than what he tells me to do. I can't even be a failure if I did. So I started out, they were trying to touch my clothes and, you know, going through the crowd, crying. And I heard somebody heart, mercy, mercy, mercy. I had to turn and look. Then in all three cells, in Arkansas, they have what they call the Jim Crow law, colored and white can't be together. I'm from the south, but I don't think that's right. So then I, I looked over there, and there stood a poor old colored man standing there, aged, a little rim of white hair in his hair. He had his cap in his hand, his wife was standing by him. And he had his hands up, blind as he could be, Then mercy. Mercy! The tears streaming down his cheeks. I thought of old blind Martin standing at the gate of jerk. Looked around. Started moving on. The Holy Spirit said, Go over there for you, Jack. I turned aside. They said, Don't go over there, Brother Ben. I said, But the Holy Spirit tells me, Go over there. I went over there and they draw the rain. I never will forget what his wife said. She said, The parson man coming to you, honey. I walked on over where he's at. His old feeble hand said, I I I I Is this you, Parson Brand? I said, Yes, sir. He got my face. He said, Oh, you're a young man. I said, Not too young. I'm 36 years old. You can see it around all my face. He said, Parson Brand, have you got just a minute to listen to me? I said, Yes, sir. He said, My old man, he had religion like you got. Religion. Said, she never told me lying all her life. The parson band, she's been dead now many years. But I've been blind and drawn the blind pension for about 10 years. Said, I live about 200 miles from here. I never heard of you in my life. But said, this morning, about 3 o'clock, said, I woke up in the room and, of course, I can't see, but said, look, I stand before me, stood my old mammy. I said, Mandy, is that you? She said, yes, honey. He said, you go down to Camden, Arkansas. Rise and put on your clothes. And ask for somebody by the name of Branham. It's Branham for the sake. You shall receive your sign. The parson ran and put on my clothes. And here I am. He said, can you help me? Oh, my. I thought, God, you're a witness that these stones will cry out. Something has to say. I just put my hands over on his eyes, and I said, Father, I do not understand, but if you sent the brother here, I ask for his sight. I took my hands down, and he smiled and wiped his eyes. Looked around, and kind of smiled, said, I see, honey. She said, you see, honey? I said, sure. I said, see that people there, that red car sitting behind her? 
she fell on her knees and screamed to the top of her voice. By that time, the people did a break in. Next thing I knew, I was in the car. I thought this, friend. God knows all about it. He can speak to the people through visions and dreams and revelations. He can send them. He's the Lord of Jesus tonight. Father, I, I ask you to just be in our midst tonight. You are all the people here and so many of us. Bless them now as I go forward to challenge the enemy to do these signs and wonders that you told me to do. I know you'll be there, Lord. You won't never fail, neither would you ever forsake your promise. And I pray now that people may have great faith, Father. This is starting the second week of this revival. Long, believing that before the great judgments will sweep the city here, that you're calling mercy. Help tonight that something might be done or win souls to you. Glorify us, thee, for we ask it in the name of thy Son, Jesus. Amen. All right, we'll have it. How far did you get last night? Up to 40 from 25 to 12. Let's start by 40. Those are all the cars from M40 to M55. From M40 to M55. If you'll stand in line calling your number at my right and your left. Piano player will come to the final, please, and play Abide With Me. Now, how many did he call? 25? How many did you call, huh? 15. Maybe we can get more than that. We'll try to get, make another choice if we can tonight and find if we can get more. Then I believe the Lord wants us to maybe change the program a little tonight. a few moments ago, it just tore my heart to pieces. Poor oh, little girl sitting holding a blind man's hand up on the same tower, I believe. Oh, my. How oh, in the world? Have faith, everybody believes. God knows that I wish I could do something. Oh, I only could. If I could, I'd do it. But this is helpless as the rest. I can only say what he says. I only do what he says to me. I trust the man knows who I'm speaking of, and the little girl also. God will bless them. God bless you, brother. Just reverend is the final player. If you softly play, abide with me. You know. I just love that song, don't you? That's all I wanted to do. Abide with me. Oh, I couldn't live without him. I wouldn't want to live without him. He's my life. He's all that I have. I couldn't live without him. I know you can't live without him. I want to abide with him.
I just keep talking and keep adding more things, more things, more things, until I feel like that there's faith there. But if, if you would stand there for a amount of time, it would reveal everything that you ever done in your life. Every sickness and disease that you ever had, it'll do it. I know it. A lot of times at home, when I used to take the cases, I'd set them down in my room, lock the door. No one can come in. I'd sit right there with them. So it's over. Then when I'm out in these meetings, I can't do that. Or I'll be really dead for a doctor me. I have a one real reverend. And we're just, don't nobody be in a hurry, but please don't move around while the, the spirit of the Lord is at work. Well, if just these rivers, then I'll tell you what I do. If you do that for as each case, I'll give you a chance then to believe that you if we just take our time. Help uh, each person be reverent. Just look on, believe with all your heart, and when God's healing the sick on the platform, you'll be healing him out there at the same time. Alright, sir. Are you ready? Having women slip away to get to the surf. 
loves you in his heart. God make a way for him. Grant it, Lord, he's in trouble. You said that you would be near those who were in need. God bless my brother now as I bless him in thy name. May all these troubles clear up like the clouds leading from before the sun. And may he be healed tonight of his arthritis. All these other troubles, Lord, and be made new and whole again. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I ask it. Amen. Look there, brother. Let me see again. You feel that you're healed, don't you? You are healed, my brother. God bless you. You go on your way rejoicing, and all your troubles is going to clear up now. Be all right. God bless you. Can I have this? Thank you. God, who I stand before now, you got a track here. Is there a God? I cursed him. God in heaven who I stand before knows I know nothing about that track or anything about it. And then it was that I thought maybe when they seen the track, uh, the Lord permitted to go right down into the depths of his heart and get something that's really a secret to tell. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. There's nothing that can fail before God. The man is will be all right now. All right. Yeah. If you're ever, will he put all you You remove your glasses before you come, then. That's the way to have faith. First. Let's have your hand. I believe there's more than them glasses. Yes, ma'am, there is. You have several things wrong with you. One of it is you're nervous, extremely nervous, which uh, that has a whole lot of business stigmatism of your eyes. Then it's in the time of the change of menopause. Isn't that right? Making you extremely nervous. And there's something... Don't you have something wrong with your limb? Or is there a milk leg? Isn't that right? All right, God bless you. Now your faith is right for you. Will you accept me as his servant and him as your healer? That's our head. Father, all things are possible to them that believe. We thank you for the healing of our sister. Pray God that she'll be happy all the days of her life, serving you with all of her heart. We bless her in thy name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, sister. Your faith will be your will be all right. Everybody remember, which is next. Of the Lord, 
Yes, then he lays hands upon him and calling in the name of the Lord, and his life returns above the throne of his body. How it stirs the hearts of those dear people, how they come from the last land. Oh, merciful God, you could take a boy that was mashed to feet, dead laying on the road. A vision could heal him to the Spirit of God. You can heal our sister tonight. The dark world. Bless her, God. I now rebuke the eye of her eyes from her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 How do you do, young fellow? Let's see your hand. You believe it all you are? Go into outer darkness, 
trouble no one else in the name of Jesus. Leave the bar. Satan, thou foul person. Christ proves to it now, taking the power away from you, and we tonight, by confession and faith and the finished work of Jesus, the Son of God at Calvary, as Christian people, we say to you, leave this young man, come out of him. Go from the building when you leave tonight. Just so happy. 
I want you to be smiling and go tell everybody, the Lord heal me. And if you feel right, say, say, no, you're not saying I'm Satan, you might as well go away. Because a man that could tell me what has been in my life has told me that I'll be well when I'm well now to get away from me, see? And be just as happy as you can be for God. And when you go out, you watch the difference in your reading. That was healed immediately, you see. And, and the nervousness is gone from you. You feel quiet, don't you? No more gloomy feeling. And it's sort of so, if we can make you feel good right here and bring the presence of God to you here, just believe that what I told you and it'll stay with you. The reason I'm doing that, honey, because you mix up and you're just at that time of life of a little girl. Is your mother near in the building? I thought so. I could feel her. I thought, oh, all right. Mother, you know what I'm speaking about, don't you? It's just her little age right now is all doing that. And don't you... You know, fly life and just, just start out on just be happy and rejoicing and everything's going to be all right for you. You believe that? Say amen. Amen. God bless you, sister. All right. Everybody just be reverent and praise the Lord. Now. All right. Oh, God, I don't know what I'm doing. 
can tell him in that time. But if the truth is, I'm just going to say that so he's heard. I want to ask you something. The diseases and things that I told you about within your body, which you know the truth. So when I spoke of that other, that to give you more faith than anything that had. Wasn't that right? Because he told me to tell you. Now, being that you had to leave with all your heart, he feels you. Now, when I was talking about that, that's something you said. And when I said that, that word, and you believe by it, that's what he said. I will say that you might know. You believe me? I put your hands up in the air. I said, go by this way up. Move your feet up and down like this. See? You have no more harm in your eyes. And I think it's all gone. Just go on your road rejoicing. And God bless you, my sister. Let's go praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I see you're one of the workers in the meeting. You like your work, personal work? You do. Well, now you're sick. Now, one thing, don't tell me what's wrong, but I want to ask you one thing. Is it an organic trouble to say yes or no? Organic trouble, inward trouble. It's something that would be a disease, all right? I want you to look at my hand before I touch it. You see here? See all my hands? You're a worker here. You deserve some... That you might see so you can tell other people. I want you to look at my hand. I don't know what God knows. I know nothing about you. Now, see, I put my hand on there. It does. My hand just looks as normal as it Now, I want you, well, if you'll lay your handkerchief down here, put this hand here on there. Oh, well, no difference, does it? Just looks like the same. But now, I want you to put this hand on there, just the way you did the other. Now, look. This swelling, turning red, dark looking color, but setting in right here. I watch when I press on this index finger. Like this. See that run across there? Now you see that with your eyes, don't you? You know what's wrong with you? Here it is. The female disorder. Isn't that right? Now do you believe? Now you see it with your eyes, don't you? Now for you. That's the first right hand. There it is. Of course, that doesn't mean anything to me. It's you looking at you, see, telling you what's wrong with you. Ah, uh, see, this is just a thing. I never worry about it. It's just a thing. It's like a little water, doesn't it? A little white thing. Like bubbles or water just going across there. See, I'm going to hold my hand still so you'll know that you can tell others. Now, that's kind of ready, my dear. I'm nervous. You have other little things also, but didn't you? That's what I'm doing. Now, here's what I'm doing. Here's what I'm doing. Jesus, the Son of God, come out from the woman. 
Our sister there is going to sleep in right now. Now the hand, me holding it perfectly normal, before I raise my head or open my eyes, it's turning normal. Is that right? Now it's all left. Is that right? All right, sir. Now, audience, raise your head. Now the lady's standing right here, and I've never moved my hand. Is that right, sister? Right in that place. Just as smooth as this hand or anything. Is that right? All in warts and bumps and things is left. Is that true? Just as normal as it can be. All right, you're healed. Now go on your own and enjoy some good I just something I talked to her about a worry she's going on about, which she ought to be all right. Come on, don't worry. The Jesus always said, do it out, do it out. Don't let nothing bother you. How do you do it, sister? Let's have your
Go on home and eat your supper. Your stomach trouble left. All right, if everybody pray. All right. Everybody ready? You sit there, come out again. God bless you. Will you obey me as God's servant? Walk down to the platform there, stomp your feet up and down your arms, the riders will be gone. Oh, God bless you. That's it. That's it. How you feel now? Sister, feel all right now? God bless you. All right, who's the little laddie? All right, come here, laddie. Look this way, sonny boy. You believe me as a little lad, that infant childlike faith. You believe me? Will you obey me as God's prophet and servant and believe that God sent me here for your healing? The stomach trouble you had is left. You go on home and eat anything you want to, sonny boy. God bless you too, Dad. Let's go bring God forever. Bring your other face on. You believe with all your heart? You do what I tell you to do? All right, sir. When you go down in the aisle, when you get home tonight, I want you to raise up your hands and scream to the top of your voice. For your arthritis is done less before you go. Hallelujah. Amen. God can speak anything in this building when he wants to speak. Do you believe that? All right, everybody ready. Come on. Yeah. Oh, just a moment, just a moment to hear you. All right, everybody bow your head. Almighty God, author of life and giver of every good gift, send thy blessings upon her. Thou demon that's tormenting her in the name of the Lord Jesus, come out of her. Leave her. I assure thee to go. Who sent breath into this world of all mortals? We're here tonight. 
God grant that these people are here that suffering in media, poor old mother laying here, Satan paralyzed her. Oh, Jesus, in the name of the Son of God, I rebuke that devil that is behind that poor old mother laying there. Jesus Christ right now needs to be here. You, my brother, 